The president took to Twitter early this morning, writing, How low has President Obama gone to tap my phones during the very sacred election process? This is Nixon Watergate bad, or sick guy. Former spokesman for the National Security Council under Obama, Ben Rhodes, did respond, taking to Twitter uh, to say, first, no president can order a wiretap. Those restrictions were put in place to protect citizens from people like you. Uh, he's speaking directly to President uh, Trump there. There's a report the that uh, June 2016, there's a FISA request by the Obama administration, Foreign Intelligence Surveillance oh. Court, to monitor communications involving Donald Trump and several other uh, campaign officials. Then they, re they get turned down, and then in October, they mm -hmm. renew it, and they do uh, start a wiretap uh, at Trump Tower with some computer and Russian banks, and it doesn't show up anything. Look, however you feel about Trump, how can anyone still honestly deny his propensity for four-dimensional chess craft? The media toil in misery for months on end, issuing edicts across the ether at journal pro boards bespeckled across the hemorrhoidal asshole of the internet, painstakingly crafting the Jeff Sessions Marussia narrative, and then just as they brace for the final flourish... Donald Trump busts ass into frame and bats it the fuck to the back burner with one sweep of his smartphone. And just like that, there ain't a goddamn thing the media can do but pull a Yui in the Technodrome, shake their fist and shriek the words, you'll pay for this, Captain Planet. Um, look, I'm not even gonna argue the credibility of the claims here, because it would be hypocritical. I've already talked at length about how there was no evidence for the Russia claims, and therefore, why would I not subject these claims to the very same treatment? The media brought zero evidence against Sessions, and I I don't think it's a coincidence that Trump has proffered the exact same absence of proof in snarky rejoinder. Although I will say that while the media seems uniquely reticent to bandy specifics, Trump's tweets read like he's fully nude with a churro and a chub just begging someone, anyone, to ask him for evidence of Obama's wiretapping. So either he's the poker player of the epoch, or he's got some dirt to deal. Let's just say after Obama had the NSA counting the veins in my cock, I admit I'm hardly awash with skepticism. But if you're asking if I think Trump was maybe feigning surprise at this revelation, well, there we can probably find some common ground. I imagine the average person catching on to their surveilled status around the time they call out for pizza and hear more clicks than the Nigerian debate team, but a guy canny enough with intel and media strategy that he's used Stephanopoulos as a sack rest for the last 12 fucking months, if he's selling ignorance, I ain't fucking buying. If media manipulation is an art, Trump is Michelangelo. And when all is said and done, this may well be his Sistine ceiling. And the sublime, sky-smashing irony of it all is that none of it, not one fucking word of it, would function as Donald Trump intended if the media were not such sack monging sycophants. If they even successfully feigned objectivity or moral elevation for even one day, half of Donald Trump's arsenal would evaporate overnight. I'll give you a classic example here. The wall. To put a finer point on it, it's cost. Estimates seem to vacillate wildly from just a few billion to 300 billion and even over 1 trillion, which may be indicative of many factors, but to yours truly tells me one fact and one alone. Bitches don't know! But in lieu of reporting their ignorance, foregoing the political football for fucking facts, the media instead report said rampant speculation as if fucking wrote. And every hour on the hour, the estimate seems to compound with interest. And like a coked up carnival barker, they crow it the fuck out gleefully. 100 billion, 15, do I hear 200, 250 to the man in the empty suit, 300, do I hear 350, a trillion, going once, going twice, sold a mush mouth marionette in the pancake makeup. And each week it climbs ever skyward until it's a leaning tower of tergiversation, and what no one seems willing or capable of grasping is that every time they raise that number, they lower the bar Trump actually has to hurdle, until before long Donald Trump merely has to avoid shitting his fucking pants and come in, as he so often does, ahead of schedule and under budget, and lo and behold he comes off as Call the Conqueror. It's so preposterously fucking simple media and you can't stop falling for it and as gut-bustingly goddamn hilarious as it's been to watch you labor in vain for the past 12 fucking months i'm gonna crack the omega code for you you ready kirk cameron you set trays in the upright and lock position bitch it here goes the one thing you have to do to eternally befuddle the machiavellian wiles of dr trump botnik and his army of mecha congressmen is stop fucking lying 
Do that, and you will leave him a toothless house cat, or at least with one glued to his fucking head. I'm Razor Fist. God. Fucking speed. You'll pay for this, Captain Planet. We're the Planeteers. You can be one too. Cause saving our planet is the thing to do. Looting and polluting is not the way. Hear what Captain Planet has to say. The power is yours.